everyone and welcome back to my channel Divinely Guided Tarot. If you're new here, my name is Angel and I'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading. This message could be for all signs, so please remember to take only what resonates with your particular situation. Leave the rest behind, okay guys? Let's go ahead and take a peek in here. Um, and guys, thank you so much for stopping in today, for hitting that like button, for subscribing, for donating and sponsoring these messages. It means the world to me, it means the world to my angels, and you are making a difference in somebody's life. So thank you guys for being your true, authentic selves. I really appreciate each and every one of you. All right, so Holy Spirit, come through, help shield, guard, and protect this portal while I channel divinely guided messages for my beautiful subscribers please help me with messages they need to hear at this divine right time in Jesus name I pray amen all right let's take a look and see what Holy Spirit wants to talk about with everybody in the group today and we have the courtship on the bottom here so it's looking kind of like some of our other ones right Coming into union, that's what usually happens with these portals. It's all about healing, it's all about releasing, and it's all about embracing new pathways, right? So let's take a peek. We have the concern card. Ooh, concern. What are we concerned about? Number 33 on there, too. That could be very significant. And we have the courthouse. The courthouse. Somebody's concerned about a hearing. I don't know if it's you or if it's somebody else. Oh, the marriage card. Somebody is worried that somebody is going to be going and getting married like a loaf. Justice of the peace. Somebody is concerned about somebody getting a marriage proposal. Somebody is concerned that somebody is going to sweep you off of your feet, collective, and get married. That's their big hang-up, 222 on the timer. Why would anybody be... We're just going to let... We're, we're, we're... Let's go ahead and shuffle some cards and figure this one out. Because I'm, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of seeing this energy come up trying to stop you from moving forward because they're not ready to commit to you. That's what this feels like. That's what this feels like. And I refuse to get upset, God. So just help me deliver the message of peace in my tone, peace in my heart, because I feel my collective's frustration. And it is real, you guys. It is very real. Okay. Holy Spirit, help me deliver the right message. Help me deliver this in the best way. Please and thank you. Okay. Let's see what we got. Holy Spirit, what do you want to talk about with us? They said, let's talk about a Ten of Cups. All right. Let's talk about a Ten of Cups. I came in thinking like this was going to be, mm, I don't want to deal with this kind of energy again because we just kind of got out of that energy. I had to wait like several hours, <laughs> you know, to clear out that energy. Um, so having something come up here with the Ten of Cups and a marriage proposal, possibly eloping, like, wow. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> Page of Wands under the deck here too. Being inspired to come forward and talk to you about marriage. And not only that, look at this. There's your emperor. There's your emperor coming in with a creative offer for you. Something that he hopes you cannot refuse because he sees you as the queen of pentacles. He doesn't need to wait three years. Oh, wow. He doesn't need to wait three years of dating you and taking the privileges of a husband and a wife away from you, you know, taking that from you without giving you the actual marriage, without committing to you fully that way, and then leaving you for somebody else, leaving you for a greener pasture. Guys, somebody sees you as like 
everything. And somebody stable and abundant is coming for you too. So I feel like I'm communicating here with an energy that is in their divine feminine. Um, so I feel like a strong divine feminine energy is in the collective resonating with this right now. And um, what I want to do is try to figure out why is there concern on the table and who is concerned about two people getting married? You know, because this is an older gentleman here. I mean, we could be talking about parents or family members that don't want two people to get together. Or it could be like a, a former lover, somebody that you're not with anymore. But we are in the month of August. Usually whenever we approach a portal, we are going through that portal fairly, fairly quickly. And this month is all about fast energy. Coming in fast, our equilibrium's all thrown off. Everything's shaking, nothing is stable, and then we're all just kind of waiting for everything to kind of settle down. But we're also all releasing things that don't belong to us and embracing and calling forth those manifestations that we do want to resonate with. So that way when the dust does settle, it settles in the right way. You know, you want to fish all the garbage out of the pond before it freezes over. You know what I mean? So, um... That's my, the next door neighbor that we pay to, to mow our grass. Bear with me just one moment here. Sorry about that collective. Yeah, my daughter's coming to the rescue. She's going to go pick up all the toys and make everything out of the way so we can mow the grass. Because that's a blessing right there. Blessing my neighbor with the money that I would pay to like another person to like a service to come and mow my grass for me saves me all that extra time mowing the grass and we get to bless a neighbor who 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 needs that income more than anybody so thank you lord <laughs> so i want to go ahead and do another quick shuffle here and i want to go ahead and tap into this concern i want to figure out what's this concern about what is going on um on that side of the fence is this family is this a form of love I want to find out. So that way we know what to pray for, right guys? All right. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what is the concern about? Who is holding this concern? Oh, the concern is the lover's card coming together and a tower coming in somebody else's life. So as you collective start being uh, energetically pulled toward your towards your significant other your match right so as you start getting closer to your energetic partner this divine counterpart that's being called into your life this tower starts to come into the other person's life that is calling up with this concern so the concern is oh crap we don't want to lose you and right now it's like I receive like an instant headache so I feel like there's a lot of pain surrounding this masculine energy that is concerned about two lovers coming together. Be I'm sorry, this is a beautiful card. There's no reason why anybody should be upset with two people coming together in love, in unity, in joy, and happiness. Um, there should be no reason why anybody should try to stop an emperor from coming into their divine counterpart but this other individual is receiving a tower so let's figure out who this other individual is because I feel masculine energy but I also feel feminine energy too which means that this could be the emperor's former lover that doesn't want him to go forward so it could very well be that too I feel both masculine and feminine energy on both we have the Six of Pentacles that came out on the board here. Very giving energy, sharing wealth. I see sharing knowledge. Sharing knowledge. Why are we sharing knowledge and who are you sharing knowledge with? Ooh. That one fell on the floor. Oh, Queen of Wands. Huh. Huh. Now, you're holding the Queen of Pentacles energy. 
this Queen of Wands is holding kind of like a, um, how to say it in the divinely guided tarot's uh, G-rated version of it. She a hoe. There we go. I mean, there's really no other way to put it. She's a hoe. She knows how to use a wand. She's very good at getting what she wants. We're talking about maybe a Pisces or an Aries. Definitely a water sign or a fire sign. Could be either one of those that we're talking about. So the individual who's showing the biggest concern is a feminine energy that is used to manipulating this emperor that's coming towards you. And I'm going to go ahead and dig in a little bit deeper about who this particular energy is and figure out a little bit more because it just, it's, it feels like a lot of jealousy. It feels like a lot of, I can't keep them. So if I can't have them, nobody will, you know, women don't like it when men treat us that way. Women should not treat men that way. I mean, you get back what you put out, right? And I, I almost don't want to say it, but I feel like this emperor at one point in time behaved just like that queen of wands where the emperor was like, if I can't have her, nobody will, and I'll send negative energy to that person. But then this person healed. This person woke up. Woke up quick, too. Like, right at the finish line kind of relief. And part of this individual's healing and karma is that he has to deal with an energy that treated him the same way that he treated you. So this doesn't mean that he gets off the hook, okay? Just because he's healing doesn't mean anybody gets off the hook. I mean, you and I all had to heal, and then we were being taught lessons all through that healing, and we're like, man, can I get out of the doghouse now? <laughs> like, I remember there were times where I was like, man, I just keep screwing up this sucks. I'm like, God, why do you put up with me? <laughs> And uh, he's so patient. God is so patient. If you just include him in your life and most importantly, just in your struggles, that's what this emperor learned. That's what he's sharing with us right now. He wants to share part of his healing and his testimony because he feels it's important to this group, which isn't that what a light worker is supposed to be doing? Sharing their testimonies. So thank you, sir. You are truly an emperor stepping up here. This is how an emperor is supposed to act. Now, you're not here yet. You're getting there. But this man is behaving like the emperor that he sees himself. Now, I'm sorry, but I can't, I can't knock him for that. That's beautiful energy. That's the kind of energy that my angels praise and raise. Because guess what? None of us are perfect. And guess what? Nobody on this channel is supposed to be perfect. There are no perfect people allowed here. So if you're perfect, I probably irritate the crap out of you. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> I'm not for everybody, okay? I am a wild card. I am a unique breed of individual. But this emperor deserves a round of applause. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Kudos to you, Emperor. I'm going to put you right up here because you're going to be our focus of our energy. Now, we're going to have to dive in a little bit deep into his Akashic Records, his timeline over here, to figure out who this Queen of Wands energy is to him and what this Queen of Energy Wands plans to do about her own jealousy and tower you know does it affect you in any way so that's about as far as we're going to dive in because you know that i do not like to um tamper with people's timelines i don't like looking at people's karma i don't like feeling it i'm too sensitive of an empath i feel it too deeply like it's my own and i don't know about you but i'm gonna go ahead and reserve those hard kind of energies with people i actually care about so um we don't entertain terrorists on this channel. <laughs> we don't negotiate.
associate with terrorists, right angels? Okay. So, Holy Spirit, please come through. I would like to know a little bit more about this emperor's timeline. I can see his healing. I can see his... I can see his healing path. Let me just say that. He's not quite there yet. And he admittedly is like, look, I got a long way to go. But I'm at least on the right path. And I'm at least stable now to where I can give more than just my broken pieces to somebody else to fix. He says, I'm put together. He says, I may be held together with Gorilla Glue. But he says he's put together. <laughs> He's showing me Gorilla Glue, like he's like, he's showing me himself as like a porcelain doll that's all cracked and then he's sitting there with Gorilla Glue gluing the pieces back together and then he's like, ah, and then the glue bottle stuck to his thumb. He, so he's got a good sense of humor. I like that about him. I have no problem digging in a little bit deeper here. So let's go ahead and figure this out. And Divine Masculines, maybe this is your energy. You know, maybe this is something that, that, um, you've come here for. I mean, you are light worker energy here. You're asking to, to, to share. Um, all right. You got it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is courageous energy. This is brave energy. And I don't know about you divine feminines, but we need more divine masculines that are brave enough to step up and say, look at my wounds. Look at my pain. I'm not alone. And I'm willing to admit that I am a human being and I bleed and cry just as much as any other person on the face of the planet. And the first card that comes out is the tower. Major, major changes. We're not just talking a tower in this Queen of Wands life. We're talking about a tower for this Emperor, this Divine Masculine energy. And the reason why I say tower for the divine masculine energy is because he's still having to kind of pay up on some karmic healing here because he's receiving energy back the same that he delivered to you, okay? And for a lot of you, you don't want this energy back in your life. You're manifesting somebody new. If this is your story, then this could very well just be not somebody coming back into your life, but this is a new energy coming forward that has a past. So put yourself in the energy that it resonates with because no matter what, this individual is going to be paying, is still kind, has to kind of deal with this past lover, um, karmic drama until he solves it and clears it out of his life. That's just what they're showing me so far. We're just at the beginning of this reading. We're going to be digging in a little bit deeper. The Holy Spirit, give us a little bit more. Heartbreak. Three of Swords. Definitely that Queen of Wands is hurting. And what we know about hurt people is that they hurt other people. So that's where the... This is where the High Priestess turns karmic. This is where they decide, I'm hurting, I never get what I want, love never works out for me. And in the reverse, there's a lot of secrets, there's a lot of harm. And instead of good intentions, there's manipulative activity happening here. Selfish, shallow, ignorance and misunderstandings, like not reading a person correctly. So the high priestess in reverse is definitely very intuitive but she's in her own ego and she can't see very clearly, okay? And what she'll do is that she'll see something and then she'll be like, well, what did he mean about that? And then blows it up out of proportion, turning mountains into like molehills into mountains. You know what I mean? So disconnected from source, disconnected from God. And that's a slippery slope for anybody to fall back on. But this individual used to be just like us and then flipped. Just like your person, your emperor was this way and flipped towards the good side, 
Do you see how there's equal balance and how the universe brings certain people together to teach each other lessons? Like this Queen of Wands energy that's holding this High Priestess reverse, this energy here is receiving her own karmic justice by having somebody leave her that she's manipulated. See, her problem is, is it looks like she does this a lot to men and she gets away with it. But now your emperor has put a stop to her being karmic. So they're both teaching each other a karmic lesson. And as they bring towers into each other's lives, they actually have a soul contract together. They're actually soulmates. They're not going to work out. <laughs> but theirs was a, a contract meant to trigger for healing purposes. So it is correct that this person was with this person. So I don't want you to feel like, how could you be so stupid? You know, like, why would you tie yourself up? Why would you go out on the streets, catch catch the mange, you know, and then try to bring it back into my house and bring all of your dirty laundry with me. Like it's, I don't, I feel like it was divinely meant to be, or this emperor would have never healed and would never be coming back to you. So if they have to go out and figure out their life, they're showing me the Amish community and how they're young go through their rum springer. And they basically go out and experience the world for what the world is. And if they decide to join the church and they join their community, they abide by the Amish rule. If they decide to leave the church and leave the community, they're excommunicated. Like they don't see their, they're basically disowned. And then they're out in the world on their own. You know, that's kind of what this feels like. I don't know why they're showing me that so strongly. Hmm. Holy Spirit, give me some more about why this is such a concern. We have the Four of Cups out here. A lot of med meditative energy, okay? This is you thinking about, I really think that you're thinking about whether or not you want to invite this energy back into your life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're like queen of swords here, like, mm, angel, I don't know. Angel, I don't know. I, mm, I have my boundary up. I'm right here. <laughs> I am right here. Sir, don't you come forward another step. I cannot handle your drama. It's like anything will trigger you at this point. Um, you are so strong, divine feminines in this group that you are not putting up with any more toxic nonsense and you could bite anybody's head off if they make one step, they put take one toe out of line. You know what I mean? You're, you're considering whether or not you even want this person back in your life and he's worried about trying to come closer to you to propose to you. <laughs> oh, the way we leave our worlds, right? <laughs> So we have the five of swords here. There's a lot of conflict moving forward. And this means that this, this queen of wands energy that is still attached, energetically attached, I, sh I guess I should say, because I don't see them together right now, but I see them, her attached to him in some way, like she has, like I said, she's a soul contract with them. So they have a tie together in some, but she's holding on to it and she won't let it go. So it's, it's hurting both of them. But I feel like the conflict is going to come to a point where it's going to be like a pressure cooker that's getting ready to explode. If you don't take that release valve in and let some of that pressure out, it's going to explode. And now they're showing me the, um, the hotel from The Shining that explodes in, um, I feel like the boiler explodes. That's what they're showing me, the boiler exploding in that. Like if they didn't go down and release the pressure in the valve, the boiler was going to explode and it was going to shoot the whole hotel off the face of the mountain. 
That's what's happening here. This conflict is going to get to a point where your enemy is going to fall back or their enemy, I guess I should say, is going to fall back and your person is going to be able to move forward. But what spirit is telling me right now is they're not permitting Senor Emperor over here from coming forward to you until he can get that attachment off of him. And they're supporting him. They're rooting him on too. And he's like, Thankful for the guidance because he's like, I'll do anything I have to do. Like he's, he's very much following the divine. He's just like any of us that are like, just tell me what you want, God. Okay, jump. Tell me how high. You want me to start now or tomorrow or yesterday? I'll time travel. I'll go back in time and I'll start yesterday. Like that's how eager he is to please God right now. So I applaud that. And he's being very cooperative. So I like that your angels... And he are working together to do this the right way, to come at you the right way. And I feel like in return, your angels and his angels are allowing you to get to know him in spirit. That's what they're telling me. This conflict has to come to a head and be dissolved before anybody is allowed near you. And I'm going to give you a clue why. Yeah. This uh, Knight of uh, Swords here, this fast, very ambitious energy, when you move too quickly and you lay with a person who still has demonic attachments on them, let's just say STDs are real in spirit too. You know, you can receive those same demonic attachments that your sexual partner transfers to you. Because remember, when you share body, I mean, if blood is considered spiritual currency and your tears are lubricant for prayers, what do you think sexual lubrication is? You know what I mean? And then that explosive energy that's transferred with it, it's, it's nothing to mess around with. Sex is sacred in spirit. Very sacred. You don't, you don't, you don't trample with it, you know? But I feel like the energy wants to come in quickly. But your angels, God, is not going to allow this energy to come near you or lay with you, essentially. And it's good because they're protecting you from that energy until that, deta that attachment is released. Once they release that attachment and there's no more drama from it, that is when that energy will be permitted to come into you, collective. And they're showing me two of cups on the bottom here. So this does look like it's going to be love. It's going to be a type of divine love that comes together. It's you and your person, you know? I sense a high-level soulmate connection. Uh, it could be a twin, but I'm not getting strong twin vibes. What I am seeing is a strong soulmate connection. High-level soulmate connection. I also see a lot of competition for your hand collective. Whoever the divine feminine energy resonates with, you're kind of a hot ticket out there in the market right now, okay? So this is something that you're going to want to trust God on. Your person is trusting God right now. And they're asking you to trust God too. So that means whatever God is placing on your heart, that's the right answer, okay? Whatever that answer may be. If it's coming from God, it's the right answer. It may not be the one you were expecting. It may not be the one that you want. But trust that God is going to take you on the right path. Oh, yeah! And he's showing three of cups here, guys. You're on a path to celebration, divine love, friendship, collaboration, community and happiness this is your guide celebrating life with you collective isn't that gorgeous oh see i love it when i love it whenever we can end on a reading with that kind of energy this is good so even though you may be delayed with this energy moving forward just know that he made it through his own type of portal okay he made it through his own portal and he's on his way to you. And he's doing it the right way. Finally. And he's on this, this channel 
basically laying it all out, exposing himself to us, collective, like us. And do you know how hard that is for this energy who used to be so prideful, who finally comes into understanding with that aha moment? Oh my gosh, I finally understand who she was all along. What the hell did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Ah! You know, I mean, he's gone through all of that. Just like we've gone through all of that in our own hurdles. You know what I mean, you guys? So I love that. I think it's great. Um, I'm really rooting for this emperor. Um, and like I said, if you're not the person who wants this energy to come back to you, if this is not like a former person... This is a new person coming in that has that kind of attachment to his life, former before you. But I love it. I love it. Um, I'm getting kind of like crush vibes. Like, it's... How are they watching? How are they watching Collective? Justice. And they're seeing you in visions. When justice was served, they were granted the ability to see you in visions. They're seeing your future timeline together. Your Akashic record is tied to his Akashic record. And that's why they're giving him glimpses of his future timeline. And guess what, Collective? You're on it. <laughs> Your gorgeous looking self and his gorgeous looking self are sitting on a beach drinking Mai Tais, honey. I see you on your honeymoon. Oh, yeah. Celebration indeed. All right. All right. All right. I like it. Okay. So, Holy Spirit, give us some spirit animal cards for this beautiful um, love reading, you know? I mean, I'm seeing your marriage. I'm seeing your honeymoon. Makes me want my tie. <laughs> oh, and you have the swan card too. This is the card of grace. And it says, You who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and your light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. I think it said the spirit of beauty. The spirit of beauty. Yes. So this is a very beautiful soul inside and out. Don't get that wrong. Inside and out. You have not met a person who shines as brightly on the outside as they do on the inside. And I feel like this, like energy, your energy collective is just like that. Like you are your own star. You are your own sun. Things orbit around you. And you're not really even trying. And you don't ever abuse that power. You're just existing and people are moving with you. It's, it's disciple energy. You know, that's what disciples feel like. They feel like their own little moving star. And I say disciple and the old soul comes out with the black jaguar. Now, I know that there are many prophets that are subscribed to this channel. I feel your energy. You're all old souls. Beautiful, strong, highly anointed. Just about every single one of you is silent. None of you comment. And I love you even more for it. You are so protective of your energy that I wanted to give you a special shout out. They're telling me to. Um, and the black jaguar is your spirit animal for those silent warriors who watch this channel and subscribe to this channel. But you're not really into commenting or joining in those live chats because, you know, you have stuff going on. But also because you're highly protecting your energy and you're sending through that, oh, thank you so much. And maybe and hitting that thumbs up button for me, helping your sister out. And I love you guys for it. So I want to go ahead and read your acclamation. It is walk through life with confidence and grace. You have the power from beyond this world. 
Focus on what you really want and you can create your dreams. Oh yes, divinely protected, um, divine masculine and divine feminine energy. Heavy on both sides there. Prophets, I love you all. I love my fellow prophets. Earth angels and star seeds, but they were showing me the word prophet. Mm-hmm. And we had two more cards, and you're going to love each one of them. So we're going to go ahead and pull out good old Horus here, right? you got the hawk, and the hawk is my special spirit animal. I love my hawks. They are surrounding my property. They come and they perch real close up to me, um, you know, and I just... They've gotten closer and closer and closer every year. I spend a lot of time outside and I'll sing or I'll hum to myself in the gardens and uh, he'll just sit perched in a tree and he'll deliver messages to me and affirmations to me. I'm like, cool, keep them coming. So you have the card, the hawk, and this is the card of the messenger. Just like I said, mine delivers messages to me. <laughs> yes, this is the card of the messenger. And it says, spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a brilliant future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. They want you to spread your wings and fly. They want you to soar like the beautiful eagle or the beautiful hawk that you are. Now, with this last spirit animal card, this is telling me one thing that each one of you is unique and that each one of you has a spirit animal that has not been called out on this channel yet since you've started watching. That you know once you see that spirit animal, it's gonna make all the sense in the world, right? This is your spirit animal. That personal choice. They want you to close your eyes. And what animal do you imagine? They says, what strength are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace those qualities. So when you close your eyes and that one spirit animal that is as close to you as anything else that you resonate with the most that is the animal they want you to take away with this message. What is that animal's attributes? What messages are they telling you? And what messages can you take away from this energy that you're seeing on the board? And I can't find a better way to end on the spirit animal card than with that, right? So let's go ahead and pull out some final closing messages for you. Holy Spirit, please come through and help out with two messages, one for my divine collective and one for this masculine energy, this emperor energy coming forward. Um, because I do see there being some type of celebration here. It's still a choice up in the air for you collective, but that's your choice. I'm not going to go ahead and dive down that record for you. Um, they just wanted me to show you what's coming for you. So I trust you to make the right decision for yourself. Holy Spirit, please give me three Three, please. One, two. All right. We have two feathers out here. Let's go ahead and read this first card. First one is pride lands me flat on my face, but humility prepares me for honor. Oh my gosh, you guys. Does that not sound exactly like this emperor here? who came forward boldly to the throne, to my altar, to this message before you to say pride lands me flat on my face, but humility prepares me for honor. And that's Proverbs chapter 29, verse 23. This emperor, I told you he's in the right He's doing it right, collective. Like, this is the first time I've seen the emperor actually act authentic to who he's supposed to be and not making excuses. 
How many people have had their significant other or your partner be in a cycle of just, oh my gosh, all they do is make excuses. Nobody takes accountability for their actions. He does. This is the kind of guy that's going to walk up to your door and he's going to notice that you had your garbage laying outside your door and before he knocks on your door, he's going to go walk that garbage to the garbage can and then come back up to your door. And he's not even going to tell you that he did it. Like, I want that man in my life that I don't have to babysit and tell what to do or how to be an adult. <laughs> Somebody's not going to pee on the toilet seat. I, I heard. <laughs> Don't get me started. But he's coming in right, you guys. I mean, I'm celebrating for this guy. Because this is, this is amazing. And if this is your partner coming forward, he's deserving of you. Totally. And if you haven't met this person before... My gosh, you're you're not even going to believe that he was karmic once upon a time. You're going to be like, you just dropped out of heaven and into my lap, like quite literally. <laughs> um, but he's coming in the right way, guys, and he wants to give more to you than just a toxic karmic cup of, of nastiness, you know? So he's going to clean up his laundry Make sure that nothing is going to be threatening coming into your energy. That's all your angels really care about. We don't want you threatening our baby in any way, shape, or form. We'll permit you, but you have to come right. And they're having like this conversation right now over top of the camera, like volleying back and forth, and I'm kind of following along. And he's like, got it, got it, done. I'll do it, I'll do it. He's doing anything he can do to get to you. And I love that. And this is the next scripture that comes out. I submit myself to God. I resist the devil and he must flee. One of the most powerful scriptures you could ever know. And that's James chapter 4 verse 7. I submit myself to God. I resist the devil and he must flee. Your emperor learned a new trick. He knows his power now. You should be very, very proud. I have so much pride for him right now. I feel so good for this masculine energy that woke up, you know? <laughs> Isn't that what we've been praying for? Isn't that what we've been manifesting, you guys? And the divine masculines in this group who are in their north node, guys, I know you're celebrating too. You're like, dude, finally, <laughs> you know, get on board. Stop making us look dumb. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's so beautiful. I feel so many divine masculines waking up. And I know that we've been manifesting it for a long time, but it's happening, you guys. And this portal is helping them through. So I'm starting to see new lights coming into my future timeline, like many more, like a lot more. <laughs> and they feel very masculine in nature. And sometimes they're feminines that are in their masculine energy coming through. Um, their auras are all different colors, but they're popping in and out and staying in and then just brightly shining like, like lightning bugs. I'm excited. I can't wait. I can't wait till these masculine energies come into the group. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, we need them. <laughs> May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. And that's Psalm chapter 19, verse 14. And man, he is raising his hands and he's, he is getting into the scripture, you guys. May the words of my mouth be pleasing to you, O Lord. He knows the power of his words now. He knows the power of his tongue. And it has nothing to do with what that queen of wands said it was for. That's what he said. 
Oh, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this message off now. Um, give you a little bit of a shorter message, even though it's like 45 minutes, you know, at least it's not an hour, right? So guys, wherever you are in the world, if you like this vibe, come and join our tribe. Hit that subscribe button. Come and join myself and the angels. We would love to have you here. You're more than welcome in our energy. We are a light worker channel. And if you call this vibe home to you, we welcome you home. And guys, no matter where you are in the world, just take care of yourselves. Have fun. Be your authentic selves. And God bless you all.